Right, the final complexy aqueous ion reaction video is the one involving aluminium, as you can see here. Um, it is single handedly the most boring thing in existence. Um, the point where I actually feel slightly bad for aluminium um, that it just has this. This is its life. This is this is just how it is. Um, all the colours here, not that you know, blue to dark blue is particularly exciting, but this colour, the, the only colours of aluminium are colourless or white, um, which isn't really that exciting. Um, quite minimal in terms of its reactions as well. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to plough through this one. I found one exam question again, like iron, aluminium is quite uh, underrepresented in the exam question sort of field. Uh, Given that in the old specification, as I've said previously, we had chromium and we had cobalt, there were quite a lot really. They concentrated on sort of it was it was chromium, cobalt, and copper. Um, so we've not got a huge sort of stuff now. They're going to start bringing in more on iron and on aluminium as well. But um, it's always been the same. Aluminium has been involved, but it's uh, almost barely ever really ever asked about an exam question, which is a bit unfair really when you spend time, you know, teaching or, or revising. But anyway, as with the as with the rest, aluminium forms a delightful octahedral I've done these videos back to back it's killing me um, an octahedral complex hexa aqua yada 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 it's colourless it's exciting here it, here it begins it's a colourless solution could not get any better than this uh, as in my previous videos uh, the first thing I'm going to look at is the OH- minus NH3 reactions and like my other videos I'm probably going to be lazy and not do them both but it's very very simple now and you can see the repetition that's coming on we have aluminium for hexa aqua here he is comes in 3 plus did I put the right charge on that yeah I did yeah 3 plus bear in mind this is the only one that's a standalone 3 plus the iron is obviously coupled with the 2 plus stuff but anyway 3 plus there I'll do it with ammonia I quite like ammonia uh, there it is, and standard here, as we would have the 3 plus ion, we would go with Al, H2O3OH3, solid because there's no charge, remember, and NH4 plus, balance it up, done. The same would be true of the OH minus, it would just be 3OH minus 3H2O, same complex formed there. There's no reactions further with ammonia. There is a little bit of a reaction with an excess of hydroxide, which actually, the note I wrote for myself when I was writing my notes for this, this is very much the GCSE test in that when you, at GCSE, and I think it still exists in the whole new one to nine thing, again, who knows when people are watching this, certainly in the previous ones, the testing for positive ions, the test for aluminium is using uh, hydroxide ions, and you get this, oh, remind myself there, get a white precipitate, Ooh, terrible, from initially a colourless solution. However, back in the old GCC scheme, that could have been aluminium, calcium or magnesium, but the fact is, this precipitate reacts with the excess hydroxide and ultimately turns to a colourless solution, therefore telling you it was aluminium ions. And that's obviously true now, so that's a bit of a repetition there in that overall reaction... I'm not convinced about the next reaction, the step-by-step -step one, but we'll see. Overall reaction is the H2O6 reacting with 3OH minus, sorry, no, that's wrong, 4OH minus to produce... I forgot where I was there, uh, to produce the Al H2O4, oh, I tell you what, I'm having an absolute mare here, to produce, when I wrote this earlier, I got this wrong earlier on, I kept getting it wrong, uh, OH4, uh, oh, oh, <laughs> H2O2, because there's the four hydroxides there, our charge drops down to minus, and we get four waters to produce. Remember, that is the overall equation. If a question ever came up on aluminium, although the examiner would probably die of excitement, um, just of the, of the premise of, of including this in a paper, um, if it ever came up, 
that's actually quite awful. I will not let examiners die. I'm not suggesting that examiner anyway. Uh, if this were to come up, remember again, it could be one of those of x to y, just like in the copper example. So it's taking it from this version here, which would be the AL H two O three O H three. Taking that across, you would be using one O H minus. I think I'm right with this. Uh, and you'll just then be going to the A O A A L O H four. What is going on with my head? H two O two minus and just a single H two O. It was a step by step reaction. I think that works just about just about right there. Um, and then the final the final one before I go on to the single exam question that I found is with carbonate ions. And it's the same as the iron two reaction. It's it's that more acidic version because of the uh, because of the more polarizing effect of the three plus ion. Um, and we end up with aluminium H two O six three plus CO three two minus going to the Al H two O three O H three solid of course there going through to, oh I need to put some state symbols into things as well, been sloppy on that one, it's because they're too exciting, that's a weird three, that's a three, uh, remember balancing wise, one of those weird ones to balance, oh, I've already balanced that, there we go, use so standard one there, uh, just because I've been sloppy here, colour wise here, this is a colourless solution, so we would go if we were just to add in the excess, we'd be going from an amazing colourless solution to a colourless solution. Step by step, we would be going from the white precipitate here to the colourless solution, and that's the standard GCSE test for the aluminium ions. And of course, similarly to what we had previously here, that's j there is just the white precipitate uh, colourless solution. Contain yourself from the excitement of colourless and white stuff. Here comes the exam question. It, now, ta da! And it's a question which I quite like this actually. So, aluminium, I think, has, has redeemed itself with one of the better, sort of slightly applied questions. Uh, diaminoethane, blah, 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 blah. like ammonia, that's a very important, like ammonia, can react as a base and act as a ligand. Write an equation for the reaction that occurs between an aqueous solution of aluminium chloride and an excess of aqueous diaminoethane. Describe the appearance of the aluminium containing reaction product. It's a very interesting question, this, because they use this, this phrase and an excess of aqueous diaminoethane. Now, if you've not read this first, but you're going to be going, well, I don't know, and my teacher never taught me about diaminoethane, but because it behaves like ammonia, it's therefore going to have the same reaction uh, same mechanism really going to go on for that reaction. Now if you know enough about aluminium as well, and this is where the important thing comes from, you know that it doesn't react with excess ammonia, which means it won't react with excess diaminoethane any differently than it would do in the standard sort of simple first step thing reaction with the hydroxide ammonia where they're the same, the same products being formed. And that's very important because I feel like this is a bit of a red herring here, this excess there. People are expecting something that it's not going to be. So actually this is insanely easy. We start with our Al H2O6 3 plus and we're going to add that to this thing, which is annoying, I know, but H2 and CH2, CH2, NH2. And we're going to produce, quite incredibly, just the Al H two O three O H three, the solid, the precipitate. Just like ammonia, this thing here is going to gain a proton. It is going to gain a proton. So, so what we would have then basically is, and it's you, you couldn't specify where it's going to gain a proton because there are two amino groups. So each of those is going to be 
protonified, so it's going to be H3N, CH2, CH2, NH3. Charge wise of this thing here is going to be 2 plus because it's now gained 2 protons. I'm actually going to get rid of this slightly, make a bit more room because I want to balance this. Very simple initial equation there in terms of describe the appearance of this. Well, this is going to be a white precipitate, a white solid. Easy, balancing this up. We've got to get the right charges and things here. So I'm going to say 2 there, 3 here, 3 there, 2 there, because we've got to get the 6 plus on each side. That's quite a straightforward equation, really, and quite a straightforward sort of question. Once you appreciate that there is no excess um, ammonia or diamine-methane reaction, it's just a standard one. And in this case, you just substitute an H3 for that thing here. It's right towards the end of the paper, this as well. So it's, you know, it's, this in theory is one of the harder questions on the paper, but actually I think it's quite straightforward. Um, anyway, and also it gives it here, acts as a base and ligand, so it's blah, blah, blah. That's a, that's a bit of a sneaky one there, the fact that it's not acting as a ligand here, but it can, this can act as a ligand, but it's not acting as a ligand. I think it goes in the next question, it looks at, yeah, see there's a cobalt one there, which I think it does get involved, um, but cobalt's no longer required. So anyway, that's aluminium, hopefully I think quite a short little video there, any problems again, tweet and all the rest of it, uh, otherwise aluminium, hope it's been of some help.